Hello everyone, I've recently bought a Dragon 32 off eBay. In, in the box that got delivered, I had a nice cover to go with it. I'll just remove that to show you the, show you the Dragon 32. So there's the computer. This was made back in 1982, 32 kilobits of RAM. Um, so that makes it 35 years old. It was made by Dragon Data Limited and they, they were based in Port Talbot, which is only a few miles away from where I'm shooting this video now. So it's quite an important piece of uh, Welsh heritage, I suppose. Uh, in the pack, I also had a, a range of games. I had the, the cassette recorder for actually loading the games onto. The chunky power supply and I had a box full of games with it as well. So all in all, I'm quite, quite, quite pleased with the, uh, the pack that arrived. It also came with user manuals as well and the joystick. So <clears throat> I've booted the computer up and it's uh, loaded up quite nicely. There you can see Dragon Data Limited 16K basic interpreter by Microsoft. So Microsoft around there in 1982. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load quite a classic game, which which is Hunchback. And I've got the original tape here. Um, but what I've done is I've recorded the Hunchback game as a WAV file. So instead of uh, putting it into the cassette recorder and and loading it in the traditional way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an iPad. So I thought it's quite an interesting sort of experiment to bridge the gap of 35 years of computing. So I've instead of plugging the uh, socket into the into the cassette deck, I've I've simply plugged it into the into the iPad. So I'm going to go and type the command in, which was to load a game, which is C load M. And when I click enter, it's now going to wait for me. To press play on the on on the iPad, and you'll see it's found the game Hunchback, and then it should start to install. Games took about five or six minutes to install back in 1982, and they weren't always the best games either. But we'll just keep this. I'll keep this going for a few minutes. Then what I'll do is I'll pause the video, and I'll wait for the game to load. And the game should um, work with with the joystick that was provided when I bought, when I purchased the computer as well. So uh, it'll pause the video at this point because it's going to take plus five or six minutes to install. Okay, the game took about five minutes, and it's loaded. So just press. It says to press any key, and you see. The game now starts to load up, and not not the best sound in the world. And I'm just going to use the joystick to to play the game. And that's that's Hunchback. This was this was the type of games we were playing back in 1982, and we thought everything was awesome. So that's 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 a typical game play in. I just thought I'd show you the how how they, the sound worked when you loaded a game. You've probably heard this before. If I press play, that's that's what a game sounded like. So you had, you had to sit through that for two minutes to load a game, and that's that's basically the Dragon Thirty Two. That's that's a game up and running. Uh, the next, the the next videos I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna cover a few more things. I'm gonna show you the Amstrad up and running. We're gonna load a game with that. We're gonna go for the Spectrum, the Sinclair range. We've got a plus two in the in the museum that we've got here. And then we're gonna go for the for the Commodore 64. And then. Then we've got a we've got a BBC computer that we'll have up and running as well. 
So I hope you found that um, walk back of 35 years of computing useful and I'll upload some new videos soon. Thank you very much.